Good morning, guys. We're going to do a little surgery on this thing today. I had to flip it over. And uh, this is the wear ring for the rear seal. And what we're going to do, it starts right here. It's just flush, and it goes back. I got tape holding that back. So what we're going to do is take a, a grinder, a Dremel tool, and slit it and split it and take it off. And then we're going to put the new one on. So to do that, I had to drape everything off. This is like surgery or something. Uh, drape everything off, tape it, seal it off. And then we're just going to go ahead and very carefully and taking our time, make sure we don't slip up anywhere and grind that, uh, grind that bearing. What that is, is it's a, uh, it's a wear ring that the rear seal runs on. And it's replaceable. And they sell a tool to take it off and put it on, and it's like $600 to $800. And to me, that just seems like a lot of money to use it one time and then put it in a box and put it on a shelf somewhere. So we're going to do it this way. We'll see how it goes. Let me get set up here, and then we'll start. Okay, that's great. Hang on a second. By the way, wear a face shield or glasses. Because if this handy dandy tool does that again, while we're grinding, the damn wheel will explode and send shrapnel all over the place. So you don't want it in your face. That, I sound funny because I've got a shield on. See what we can do with that. I think I can actually get it off. Let's move them. It is loose, but not that loose. That's it. Mm -hmm. There's our slit. We just barely penetrated. Let's see how we do on, on the shaft here. Let's get it right. Okay, no marks. Nope, no marks. Good. So we'll clean that up and uh, get it ready for the new one. Piece of cake. Okay, that came off real well. Um, now the next thing is to roll it back over, put it on the hoist, hang it from the engine hoist, and we're going to do all the work on the back while it's hanging on the engine hoist. We'll set her down on the ground. Well, no, we can't because there's no oil pan. But we'll get it close, and uh, we'll just have to work while it's swinging on the hoist, which will be interesting. But we'll put that, uh, we'll put the new one on. I'm gonna polish this up with a green scrub pad, and uh, there is no nicks in it. That's great, uh, it came off well. Um, and it's all masked off, so there's no dust anywhere. You just carefully take this stuff off, and then 
uh, we'll flip her back over with the uh, help of the engine hoist because it's so heavy it's kind of top heavy so it doesn't want to turn so I have to use the engine hoist to pull it around um, once that's done today we're going to get the this rear seal done we'll get the rear um, seal carrier on which is just a plate we've got some expansion plugs to put in the two for the oil galleries two for the water galleries and one threaded plug um, that goes on before the the plate goes on and we'll have the rear seal done and then we'll put her back on the engine stand in this position and finally get the oil pan on once that's done hopefully that'll be today and then tomorrow we'll flip her back over and put the injectors in the high pressure oil pump a bunch of the sensors uh, we'll assemble the oil the high pressure oil galley and water pump pulley stuff like that just miscellaneous all the intake manifolds and we'll get ready to put the um, t4 kit on it for the turbo which will be interesting because uh, i think we'll be doing that while it's hanging too because it comes across maybe not it might clear the engine stand i don't know we'll see if it doesn't we'll we'll hang it from the hoist and assemble that get it ready to go on but uh yeah it's a lot of little stuff that's going to bring it to conclusion and then we've got to do a little bit of work on the transmission uh, and we're going to put them together and see if we can't put this whole power team in as one piece should be interesting <laughs> we're going to try anyway so uh, we'll see what happens let me get set up here <laughs> 